Hey, hey fam. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. I, I heard Keisha or Keisha or something like It's not Keisha. It's Keisha or Keisha or something like that. But anyway, hey fam, thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is, so let's just go ahead and tap in with Spirit, get this tea for y'all real quick. See what's really going on in this general collective energy. Because, fam, there's a feminine energy watching you from their car. Now, I'm not saying that this is a woman or a man. This is just a feminine energy. But whomever this person is, they're sitting in there watching you from their car. I honestly don't feel like this person is trying to, you know, hide or something like that. It really feels like somebody wants you to know that they're there. Whomever this person is, they have a point to prove. I'm not really sure what's going on between you and this person, but we'll, we'll try to get into it, child. But please, take what resonates and leave the rest. Also, the messages are always timeless. So whenever you come across the message, fam, that's exactly when Spirit has it for you. To all the subscribers and members of the channel, I thank y'all so, so much for rocking and rolling with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. Even if you're not a subscribed, fam, or a member of the channel, I thank you so much for just being here, coming and viewing the message. You know, spending some of your time with me. I greatly do appreciate each and every one of you guys. But let's go ahead and get into this. Because, child, why in the hell is this person watching you from their car? Let's see what we can get from the Kipper deck. Yeah, we get toil and labor. Some of y'all, this could be your somebody sitting outside your job. Hmm. This could even be somebody that's a housewife. Like you're a homemaker, you stay your stay-at-home mother, father. Don't even make a difference. There's no gender in tarot. But let's get into this. Yeah, mature woman and main female. You see what I'm saying? Hmm. Yeah, this could be a female that's younger than you. If you're an older female or older than you, if you're a younger female. Why the hell is she watching? Yeah, message of concern. Privileged lady. Hmm. Got a child right here. And we got courtship. <laughs> oh, shit. So there is somebody out here watching you for somebody else. Yeah, somebody here is watching you for this main female energy. So I don't know if y'all have met somebody new or something like that. Yeah, some of y'all could have met somebody maybe uh, in April or four weeks, four months ago. What's this? What's this? My August. Yeah, that would be April. So, yeah, somebody here that y'all are dealing with or were dealing with, I'm not sure if you're still dealing with this person. Somebody done did their research, and it's like all roads lead back to you. So, somebody done figured out that somebody is dealing with you. Yeah, lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, mature woman right here. Okay, let's get into this, fam. Holy Spirit, what's the message here? Why is this? Yeah, we get married. Somebody here y'all dealing with is married. Or this person is engaged or something like that. But clearly this says marriage. Somebody could have been, like, they could be like a newlywed married for like, shit, I hope ain't nobody been married for only three weeks or three months and they already out here cheating. But this could be three years. But I'm also hearing that somebody married somebody for money. But let's see here. Yeah, we got child right here. Somebody could have married somebody because somebody was pregnant as well. Don't have to be, though. Yeah, we get main female right here. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Holy Spirit. Okay. Yeah, we get the message of concern. See, somebody here, somebody, oh, Lordy, somebody child done spilled the beans. So I don't know if somebody has sent you a message. So I don't know if somebody right here has seen you with somebody or what's going on here, but somebody here has definitely sent a message to somebody. Yeah, somebody could be getting kicked out their house right here. Hmm. So let's see here. Yeah, we got courtship right here. 
I don't read these cards in the reverse. Yeah, some of y'all could be a lot younger than somebody that y'all are dating. Or either you're a lot younger than, you know, the person that they're married to. Hmm. You know what, fam? This is somebody right here who is separated and getting a divorce. But they are still legally married. But these people are separated and getting a divorce. Yeah, we got message right here. So, yeah, somebody found out about y'all in July. And they've been having somebody follow your ass ever since. I don't know what somebody is giving the energy of somebody work at a bank. I don't know what this is about somebody work at a bank or it's just like a professional building. I see somebody going to meet somebody for lunch or this is like somebody meeting somebody in a park. Yeah. Yeah, we got great fortune right here. To the lovers. Hmm. Did somebody, yeah, it's giving the energy of somebody took somebody to lunch or took somebody on. It's like a, it's some type of date or something right here. Somebody right here, they have the receipts. It's been coming out a lot lately that somebody has receipts. Yeah, somebody right here, they, they shouldn't have been opening somebody's mail for one. Some I don't know if somebody gave somebody a gift as well. I'm hearing something about somebody got a room. So I don't know if somebody got like a really expensive hotel room or went on a trip or something. Yeah, but this person's wife or whomever this is, ex-wife, soon to be, they gotten the uh the 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 mail the bill or something yeah we get the mature woman right here hold on y'all okay fam sorry about that yeah it really do feel like somebody right here they started courting somebody or something like that i said in the beginning somebody could have married somebody for money and that's what it's looking like right here somebody here is older so, yeah, there could definitely be an age difference, really, between all three of y'all. Yeah, we get toil and labor right here. This is somebody that y'all could have met at your job. But I'm telling you, somebody right here, whomever this person is that's watching you, yeah, official person right here, they're watching you work. I don't know what it is you do for work, but they're watching you while you work. Also, some of y'all, the boss at your job, their wife has a real problem with you for one reason or another. I don't I don't know what the hell this is. She saw y'all talking one time. I don't know. Somebody has also found text messages. It's not just uh receipts about gifts. There's text messages here. Yeah. I don't know who this is. They cash out. Somebody knows as hell because somebody going through every avenue. It's like everything they can find, every app, they going through it. Somebody done went through somebody cash app and seen where they send somebody some money. Yeah. Yeah, privileged lady right here. Yeah, sudden well. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So there is somebody out here spending somebody money on somebody else. Yeah, look, wealthy man, you cannot make this shit up. There is somebody here who married somebody for money. And they're spending that that the, the money on somebody else. Whomever this person is, they done got receipts about something. Yeah, so now they've hired somebody to watch you if this is your energy. Yeah, it's like somebody is digging uh, really, really deep. Mm. 
Yeah, we get the courthouse, the main male, and the community. So whomever this person is, they're very much so well known. I don't know if this could be like a, a court official or something like that. Yeah, but this person could be very well known in the community. Yeah, family room right here. Somebody right here is going to end up divorcing or leaving somebody or something like that because they found out about you if this is your energy. Yeah, sudden wealth right here again with the journey. I honestly feel like seriously, yeah, adjudication right here. This is this is fucked up because I honestly feel like whomever this is that married this person for money, that is it that's really all that they married this person for. Somebody right here, there's also something being found out about a secret bank account. So somebody was already saving money to, you know, planning on their way out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we get 12, 11, 10. See how it's counting down? Yeah. Yeah, somebody was already planning their way out. Yeah, wealthy man again when I split the deck. Yeah, somebody right here, they're going through a divorce. I see. It. Yeah. And whomever this 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 uh their wife or husband spouse, period, whomever their spouse is, they're not in a good space. They don't want to let go. I just heard somebody's realizing that somebody was never in love with them. Yeah, I'm telling you, look at this official person's adjudication. There's a court case right here. Somebody is eating Doritos. Damn. Yeah, somebody just eating, watching me and just snacking away. Yeah, but I'm telling you, this is this is weird as fuck. Somebody in this person up here, this privileged lady or whomever she is, mature whatever yeah this lady this spouse uh or man this person has somebody in law enforcement in their family they gonna fuck around and get this person in trouble because they're following your ass illegally so this could even be somebody trying to intimidate y'all yeah yeah we get the lovers right here Gemini energy. Yeah, to the main male. Somebody has seen you and this person together. It's outside, in the open, at a park. It's something right here. Yeah. I ain't saying that y'all gotta be... Even You know what? Turn it down. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Some of y'all, this is somebody that's not married at all. This is somebody up here... I don't know. This is some nosy ass people. We saw community, right? It's a lot of talk going on about you and somebody else. Yeah. Some of y'all, this person could be married, but others of y'all, I feel like y'all possibly just work with this person. And it's a whole lot of bird bitches over here just talking. Yap, 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 yap it away. I don't know why they think you some type of gold digger or something like that. Goddamn, you work with them. So I'm confused. If you a gold digger, you wouldn't be uh, sitting up here on this damn nine to five, which, okay. Yeah, somebody is definitely married and it's a whole lot of talk going on around your interaction with them. Yeah, because a lot of people have seen y'all together. But others of y'all, I got the download clear. Somebody is sitting in their car and they're watching you. They not trying to make their presence unknown. They want they want you to know that they watching you. So some of y'all could be like, what the fuck is that person looking at? Yeah, somebody just looking at y'all. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, that's that person. Y'all might see the same person several places that y'all go. You're like, damn, didn't we just see such and such at the other store? Yeah, I'm hearing something about a blue car. Oh, it's there. Yeah, we got imprisonment right here. Oh, my God. Yeah, to distant horizon. Somebody right here. Didn't I tell y'all somebody got somebody in their family in law enforcement? 
whomever this person is with the official person, they got a lot of pull. Hell, don't don't be surprised if you get pulled over or something like that, and they trying to get you. They take you to jail and give you like this big ass um a uh, bond or a bail or whatever the fuck it is. Even this uh person that somebody is married to, they are not above trying to get this person put in in in. I heard in the pokey. What the hell is in the pokey? <sighs> in jail just to keep them away from you. Somebody is very intimidated by you. Whomever this person is, fam, they have a lot more than you. And when I say that, I mean like material possessions, money. They have a lot more than you. So they feel like this person should choose them over you. Somebody feel like you don't have nothing to offer with the toil and labor. And they sitting over here, the privileged lady. Somebody don't understand that abundance, it don't have to, it ain't always about money. Blessings ain't always, they don't always come in financial forms. Mm -hmm. Somebody keep thinking about y'all. Yeah, 9 and 2 is 11, so we got 11, 11 right here. Somebody feel like you they twin flame. Yeah, so y'all could have met this person, you know, while they were married or, you know, like I said, somebody separated going through a divorce. Holy Spirit, can I get one more from this bitch? Thank you. Yeah, we get poverty right here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, high honor. <laughs> somebody, I don't give a damn what's going on out here. Either way it go, I do feel like somebody done saved up some money because I heard a uh, uh, secret account. There's a secret bank account. Even somebody with secret account, this could be somebody right here. They made a secret account just to uh, com converse with a certain person. And that account has been found as well. So either way it goes, somebody has found out. And it's, it's just, it's turning into a whole shit show out here. Yeah, we got house right here. And we got high honor. So somebody could be in the military. Or somebody passed over could have been in the military. Something like that. I'm not sure. But somebody is like, I'll leave it all behind. Somebody is so into somebody. They feel the lovers. 11-11. Somebody feel like they've met their person. And it's like they don't care what somebody else can offer them. They willing to leave all that shit behind in order to go toward who they really want to be with. Yeah. But let's, let's get into why, you know, this person is sitting and watching y'all, like. Yeah, somebody could be a Leo with the sun card. We also get the four of swords. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody trying to make their presence known. It's like somebody trying to intimidate y'all. Yeah. Somebody else knows about you, but I feel like they haven't told the person that they're married to, so it's finna give, y'all, so just stay with me. Somebody knows that you and that person have something going on, or so they feel you know, take the energy, how it resonates. So this person right here, they're finna be like, uh, if you work with this person, they're gonna be popping up all the goddamn time. Yeah, trying to flunk something in your face. Yeah, Virgo energy, Virgo Aquarius. Yeah, we get the moon card right here. It's like some of y'all feel a void that this person has. Yeah. So, yeah, something could be very much so secret. Yeah, it's like somebody is dying to end the situation. Yeah, and come towards you, two of, uh, two of wands right here, four of pentacles. I don't feel like somebody is willing to let this relationship between you and them go. Yeah, I'm telling you, four of pentacles, even if they have to leave it all behind <laughs> and live like, you know, if even if they have to get a nine to five and live like regular folks. Yeah. Holy Spirit, talk to us about this person that's watching fam. What's going on with this person that's watching fam? The tower. Mm, so some of y'all, it ain't a person that this person done paid. It's a part, this, it's this person themselves. 
So somebody's wife or husband, feminine energy, period, is sitting somewhere. And I said in a blue car, y'all see all that blue right there? Somebody has a blue fucking car and they're sitting somewhere and they're watching you. Yeah, Scorpio Aries energy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Holy Spirit, give me more on this person. Yeah, it's this person's uh, spouse. Yeah, but the Hierophant right here, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. But why do it feel like the person that they paid called it off? Yeah. Yeah, five of wands right here. I don't know what happened between them. It was some words exchanged between this person's spouse and the person that they paid. It was even words exchanged between them and, you know, the person that you're dealing with. I don't know what the hell is going on. It seemed like a third-party situation, but not really. Because for some of y'all, this person is separated. Yeah, Taurus energy here. Very specific. Somebody could be a hairdresser or a barber. Yeah, we get the three of swords right here. Something right here. There's a relationship, a marriage that's breaking up. But you see what I'm talking about? They're separated. It's not finalized yet. Somebody is very much so in their feelings. And baby, they done found out about your ass. And oh my goodness. It's yelling. It's crying. It's tears. Somebody that, somebody also told somebody they want a divorce. Yeah, so somebody has told somebody they want a divorce. I feel like it's the, the person that possibly you're dealing with that, that, that said that, not the female energy. Mm, yeah, death card right here. Justice, Libra energy. So we got Scorpio, Libra. We got double Scorpio. Yeah, this is supposed to be till death do us part type shit. Y'all see somebody look like somebody trying to leave and somebody standing in front of them like, no. So, yeah, somebody could drive a black car, white car, black and white car. Shit, I don't know. I clearly heard somebody in a blue car, though. Somebody here, red and black. Those are my favorite colors. Yeah, but y'all see that sun right there back there in that death card. Somebody want to go to whomever it is that makes them happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, two of cups. Goodness gracious. Somebody, it's like whomever this person is, they spouse, they're not in a good space emotionally. Because, baby, this was supposed to be till death do us part. Some of y'all could be a Leo, and this person feel like you came in between their relationship. Yeah, the full card, Aries, again. Why did I say again? Oh, with the score. I was like, why did I say again? Yeah. It's like with that dog right there. It's about, something here is about loyalty. Somebody was supposed to be loyal, faithful, till death do us part. Shit like that. No, somebody want to take a leap of faith toward they, who they feel is they true to a cuss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of y'all are very much so spiritual. And this first other person is religious. And it's like this person resonate more with you than they do with their spouse. Either way it go. Yeah, three of cups right here. Somebody wants to confront y'all. This person wants to confront. Oh, child. Yes, she do. Somebody could have Sagittarius highly aspected in their chart. Somebody want to ask you if you know such and such. as I heard Michael. Somebody want to know if you, if you know that Michael is married. I heard Siobhan and Mickey. Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah, we get the four of cups right here. Damn. These cards just keep lying on the floor. 
It's just giving the energy of somebody can't believe something. Yeah, cancer energy. Yeah, this is getting weird as fuck out here. Because I'm telling you, it's somebody just sitting there. I feel like it's the energy of somebody sitting somewhere so long, fam, that people are going around and ask this person, are you okay? Everything okay? You good? Like, things like that. Yeah. I heard somebody asking somebody if they want to come in. Damn, where is this person? Is damn, it's baby, let me tell y'all something. Some of y'all go to church. This person is losing their shit because they watching yo. They sitting outside your church. Yeah. This person is following you. There's the chariot. So that's why some of y'all keep seeing a certain car. If this is your energy, that's why you keep seeing this certain car. This person's spouse done found out about you and they're following the fuck out of you. Yeah. Yes, people keep also, I feel like people keep calling this person on the phone. Somebody is calling this person on the phone, trying to get them to come, like, come over here where we are, you know, things like that. It's a lot of people know what's going on right here. If, if it's not that they know, they know that something is going on with this person, because this person right here, they don't seem like they acting in their right mind. Yeah, we got the King of Cups right here. Yeah. This person right here, whomever this is watching you, it's like they want to see what's so good about you. Yeah, why do this person want to be with you over them? Yeah, the Queen of Pentacles right here. When they have so much to offer this person, what does this person see in you? Things like that. Yeah. Yeah. They feel very much so ignored by this person. Yeah, eight of wands right here. This person wants to talk to you. They hoping somebody right here, they want to cross. I'm telling you, they're they waiting to cross paths with you. I don't know. They sitting there and they watching you, but it's like they ain't saying shit to you, but they want to talk to you. Also, it's somebody at y'all job. I don't know. You have a higher position than this person or something. You make more money than them. They have a crush on you. They want to talk to you, but it's like they don't think you're going to get them the time of day. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Some of y'all could have just broken up with somebody or some of y'all, you know, you're going through a divorce or something like that. That could be the talk of the city, bitch. And yeah, it's your job or whatever. Don't have to just be at your job in your community, period. It's like somebody see you, you maybe before you were with a certain person and now you're by yourself. So now somebody is like, they want to talk to you, but they, they don't. Mm -mm. Yeah. You hear my son say, what are you doing? Yeah. Somebody want to ask you, like, they just want to start a casual conversation. What you doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Damn. <coughs> Ooh. Excuse me. Somebody right here, we saw the family room and we saw the house and y'all notice it wasn't nobody in that family room. Somebody came home to uh, somebody gone. Yeah, somebody didn't even wait for somebody to get home. They just came home and somebody left them a letter and was gone. So that's how much somebody feel like they vibing with somebody. Like seriously, they just ready to leave everything behind. Yeah. Damn. It's like meeting you is changing somebody's whole life. It's like where somebody's life was once about money and material possessions. Now this is about love. <laughs> like for real. It's like love is the greatest of them all with that great fortune. Yeah. Somebody like money good, but damn, love is better. Yeah, damn. Holy Spirit. How's this? 
Yeah, look, the nine of pentacles right here. Daddy, let me in my own room. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, sorry about that. I paused it at 30 minutes straight up. Yeah, but we see that nine of pentacles. I told y'all somebody had been saving up money, so somebody could have saved up them, themselves a nice little nest egg in order to, you know, uh, prepare for them leaving. Yeah. Yo, this person is, damn. Shit, fam, you changed this person's whole way of fucking thinking. Holy spirit. What's this part? This part, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, look, the six of cups right here. Is somebody ready to give you your flowers? They constantly thinking about you? Yeah, this could have been another thing. Somebody found the receipts from some flowers that somebody sent y'all ass. If y'all had some flowers, yeah, the devil right here. <laughs> Six of Wands. Oh, my God. This is some... Wait a minute. Do we got the Emperor? Wait a minute. The nine of swords. Okay, wait a minute. I told y'all, y'all done changed somebody. How in the fuck? See, I don't even know how to explain this because I know what I'm looking at, but what we doing? Because I'm hearing the ex-narcissist. Oh, my goodness, fam. What we doing? Because I clearly heard the ex-narcissist. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This woman. So, yo, person, I was finna say, what in the world are we talking about an ex-narcissist? The person that they were married to, they feel like this person is a narcissist. Or this person that they was in a relationship with, got children with some, they feel like this person is a narcissist. So that's why they want to get away from them. Okay. Yeah, the five of ones right here. That could be a custody battle for children as well. Going on with this person in this situation. Damn, somebody in a custody battle with a narcissist. Ooh, child. They better have a damn good lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person right here, this is crazy. Yeah, strength card, Leo energy. Somebody right here. Oh, Lordy. It's like this this person right here is really feeling like their ego is hurt. This this feminine energy, male or female, their ego is hurt here. Yeah, because it's like they expect somebody to bow down to them. And it's like, no. Somebody asked for a fucking divorce and that's what they want. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, this spirit's going on. This, damn, that's that card. Yeah, we get the lovers coming up in the reverse. Yeah, with the tower, somebody right here, it's like, damn. I see why they don't want to be over there. <laughs> Capricorn, Gemini, energy. Yeah, it's like, honestly, I'm surprised we don't have a star card. Or the judgment, because it really feel like when y'all when somebody met you, start talking to you, or something like that. Yeah, you could have been schooling this person on spirituality, and it's like they start noticing different red flags when it came to this person. Yeah, they feel like this person is a narcissist. Yeah, cancer energy right here. So that's why the fuck it's like they want to get the hell away from them. Yeah. Somebody also, I don't know who this is, but somebody is taking a car back. Yeah. It's like since somebody don't want this person, uh, that's for one, you can't buy somebody love. And that's what it really feel like right here. Somebody tried to buy somebody love. Money, tangible shit, cars, clothes, whatever the fuck. You can't do that. But I'm telling you, whomever this person is right here, I they, you, if this is your energy, somebody going to try to make you feel like uh, 
somebody is really not into you when yes the fuck they are <laughs> yes they are somebody right i'm telling you at this point this the person that you're dealing with they consider their soon to be ex wife or whatever this is the third party so they don't really give a damn how this third party is feeling at this time all they know is they want to go and that's what they finna do yeah go on a journey they don't give a damn. No money at all. They just finna go. I, I show up. They got some gas in the tank, though. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, look, we got the Ace of Wands to the Ten of Cups. Somebody is going toward what makes them happy. Somebody that, yeah, marriage. Something between. It's like as soon as somebody divorce is finalized, they're going to ask somebody to marry them. Yeah. That could be another reason why somebody ex is stalking the shit out of y'all. They done got the uh, message that somebody right here, yeah, this person done asked you to marry them, and that's the truth. Yeah. Spirit is saying also, yeah, nine of cups right here. You see what I'm talking about? Somebody find, they feel like you're a wish fulfillment. And that's the truth. They wanna, they wanna actually have something with you. Some of y'all, this could be future energy for y'all as well. Just be mindful. Yeah, Cancer energy. I got Scorpio, Leo. Um, well, I was off finna say Leo, Jupiter, but I mean, I was trying to say Justice uh, with Libra, Scorpio, Taurus. Gemini, Capricorn, Aries. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person, as soon as that, that ink dry on that goddamn shit, hell, I don't even know if the ink gonna be dry. All I know is this person know where the hell they wanna come to. Oh, but they ex is not happy about this shit. Mm -mm, she swear up and down or he no gender into row once again their their spouse their soon to be ex swear up and down that you're the reason why they're not on the same page no that's not it all this toxicity and this arguing and fighting and shit is what really tore them apart honestly i don't really feel like this person saw this this person that they was with as their person anyway like i stated before it was about money. It was about tangible shit. Yeah, can't make it up. Ten of Pentacles right here. Mm -hmm. That's nuts. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Damn, baby. Yeah, look, the Empress right there. Bro, you can't make this up. Yeah, to the four of ones. Whomever this person's spouse is, they really feel like they lost their two of cups to a two or three of cups. Yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> but I mean, shit, you can't make somebody love you. If they don't want to love you, then they ain't going to love you. Yeah, but this person really did think their marriage was going to last forever. They finna act the fool, though. I'm telling you. If this person, they, they going to block bank accounts. They taking back cars. This person got to get out the house. It's all kind of shit out here. And it's because this person is hurt here. They stalking you. They're obsessed. Somebody is obsessed with you and this connection. I don't even see them being obsessed with the person that's leaving them. Hell, they main focus is on you if this is resonating with you. Some of them could have got the, the message, you know, they in separation. Somebody could be, you know, expecting a baby. Also, it's it's a lot of energy coming through it because somebody ex is getting a lot of information on y'all, some type of hell. That's how I know somebody right here. They've hired somebody in one way or another to get information out of them on you. Somebody knows that you're pregnant. Somebody knows that somebody is uh, either buying a house or getting a house built. Somebody knows that somebody is adding an extra room onto a house. Yeah, there's a new car here. It's, it's nice. It's really flashy, too. 
Yeah, somebody is seriously hating on y'all for real. Lovers in the reverse. Well, there's somebody out here hating, hating on your new car. Like, some of y'all, if you ain't got a new car yet, you about to, and somebody finna be hating like a motherfucker. Yeah, this could be somebody that y'all got a family with that y'all at odds with right now. Yeah, I don't know why this person right here, they, I don't know, who cares? Yeah, they just in their feelings right here. They regret something that they did, but hey, who don't they always? Somebody know what kind of car you drive, fam? They know your license plate. Somebody, boy, they, 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 this motherfucker is obsessed with you. Mm -hmm. Y'all close y'all blinds, because I'm telling you, somebody is sitting somewhere in their car, and they're watching you. Hell, if, if it's a parking lot or a street or something, and you can see that shit from your window, I advise you, if this is resonating with you, close your blinds and them blackout curtains, because somebody is staring your ass dead in the face, and you don't have no damn idea. Yeah, I don't know what this is about somebody eating like pretzel sticks or something like that. I don't know what it is you dipping it in, spinach dip or something, but somebody's eating like pretzels, Doritos, it's something. Ooh, y'all be mindful of somebody keying y'all car. If this is your energy, you better be mindful of somebody keying your damn car. Mm hmm. Yeah, we get the Ten of Wands right here. Yeah, to the Six of Pentacles. I see somebody giving somebody a house key. Yeah, somebody, I don't know if you and this person, so I see somebody moving in with somebody. Yeah, we got 10-10 right here. Something is ending so something new can begin. Yeah, somebody right here, they, they not going to have the backing of this privileged lady or her money, but they damn sure finna make it work. They might have to come live with you for a little bit if you allow it. <laughs> yeah, shit, some of y'all, you cool with it, y'all just, yeah, I see somebody building a goddamn house. Yeah, star card right here, Aquarius energy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody in a marriage with this person, it was just way too much. Yeah, somebody can find, it feels like somebody can finally breathe. You know, once they get themselves out of this situation. Yes, y'all get them spiritual baths in as well. Get, get that heavy ass energy up off of y'all. Yeah, because somebody right here, I don't know who this is. Your family, your mama, somebody. I, I don't know what they doing, but it's too much. It's way too much. Also, somebody carrying something that they know they ain't supposed to carry. If you're pregnant, put them heavy ass bags and shit down. Yeah, we know how strong your ass is. We put them bags down. Somebody here just had a baby. Don't you lift that heavy stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can't tell y'all nothing. Y'all so hard. -headed. That's my fam, though. You can do it all by yourself, huh? You don't need nobody else. You can do it. Yeah, but baby, just because you can don't mean that you have to. Put them burdens down. I don't know who that's for, but yeah, somebody here, this this something completely out of the out of the ring. You carrying around way too many burdens. You carrying around the burdens of your family. You carrying around the burdens of, of uh some uh relationship. It don't even matter. Some of y'all, it ain't even a relationship of yours that you carrying the burdens for. Somebody always coming and talking to you when they go through some shit. Put them burdens down. Yes, put them down. They ain't yours to carry, baby. Yeah, high priestess right here. Mm -hmm. Also, y'all be mindful of what y'all, that's why I always say take what resonates and leave what does not. Be mindful what, what it is that you're absorbing from the tarot readings. Yeah. Because some of this shit, it don't be meant for you and you're absorbing that heavy ass energy. And do you you do understand that that energy, you will carry it. And it will start to affect your everyday life. So yeah, put them burdens down. If you know that a certain part of a reading ain't for you, don't, 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 don't even fuck with it. You know what I'm talking about? But yeah. 
I see y'all doing some major healing here. Or this is somebody that you're around. And it's beautiful. Yeah. You know, this is a beautiful energy, but it's just the way that it come about. Well, some of it beautiful. This bitch over here watching you and shit, stalking you. That ain't beautiful. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, but the way that you and somebody come into union is crazy. But, the you know, most high God move in mysterious ways. Some of y'all, this could be a twin. And, you know, your twin could have went off and married somebody else, like, before y'all met. And now that y'all have met, it's like, shit, y'all souls are recognizing each other. And now somebody is ready to actually take that leap, y'all. You've been hearing that you and your twin are coming into union. Some of y'all had no idea that it would be like this. <laughs> but, yeah. Everything happened for a reason, fam. But anywho, fam, that's been the message. If 50, I mean, 40, I first saw 45, 54. I don't know why I couldn't get that out. And damn, Mercury Retro Green. But anywho, y'all, that's been the message. Hopefully it gave you some type of clarity. If it did, just hit the like button for me. Comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, y'all. Personal readings are open. If you are interested, all that information can and will be found in the description box of the channel. It's always my pleasure, of course, fam. Damn, I'm shaking the table again. Damn, is the table uneven? Hell yeah, I gotta fix that. But it's always my pleasure, of course, fam. I thank y'all so much for allowing me. Why in the hell is the table uneven? Hmm. But I thank y'all so much for allowing me to read for y'all. I'm sending you guys loving, healing energy wherever y'all may be in this crazy-ass world. And we'll most definitely get back up.